Hi, my name is Nun Bacharel and I'm the Communications Manager at BICEF, the International Brahmin Council. Today, we are here in the Netherlands to meet with Jan Nordgraf, the director of the Polystyrene Loop Initiative. Stay with us and learn more about this innovative technology that allows to recycle polystyrene foams containing brominated flame retardants and it's actually bringing a circular economy in action. Let's talk with Jan, let's talk bromine. Jan, thank you so much for this invitation. Could you please start by saying uh, how did you become interested in chemistry and in recycling? Well, I always had a technical uh, interest. That's why I studied the technical sciences, metallurgy. This is a combination of uh, physics, chemistry and uh, engineering. And I always have worked in this type of field with new products, uh, new ideas, and uh, polystyrene loop is no exception to that. Can you tell us uh, more about uh, PS foams and how uh, uh, it contributes to the safety uh, and efficiency in buildings? Well, polystyrene foam is one of the best, if not the best, insulation material because it has the best value for money, which is especially realized by adding a brominated flame retardant. With a very small amount of bromine, like salt in your food, you need a little bit. It works uh, extremely well in uh, preventing fires. In this initiative in particular, uh, Polystyrene Loop, what is the technology behind all this project and this process actually? Technology is basically simple. It is a physical process. We dissolve the foam in a solvent. Then we add a second solvent and we precipitate the polystyrene and separate it from the bromine, the HBCD. There we get two flows. One is polystyrene, the other one is the sludge with the brominated flame retardant. That is treated by our next door neighbor, ICL, in their bromine recovery unit. This is a unique piece of equipment that destructs the bromine, but bromine is regained as a HBR uh, solvent and is then reused as a feedstock to make new brominated flame retardants. This means that small quantities of bromine that do a hell of a good job in polymers can later, after the useful life, be recovered and reused and turned into new brominated flame retardants. So bromine is truly circular. It's probably even a key message on top of that of recovering polystyrene, that both polystyrene and bromine are circular materials. What are the challenges of this project now and what is the vision uh, of Polystyrene Loop that is now a baby, let's say, because it's a, a brand new initiative? What are the opportunities now and the vision? Well, we are a demonstration plant. Uh, it is an economical demonstration as well as a technical demonstration. So we cannot stop after the first batch. Oh, we can dissolve it and now it's, uh, we can rest on our laurels. No. It's like riding a bicycle. You have to keep moving, otherwise you fall. Mm -hmm. So what we are developing now is not only to run this plant very efficiently, we have no doubt that it will work. We already are thinking about plant two, three, four and five, and we're building a time horizon of 10 years where we can offer solutions to the world of removing uh, legacy chemicals from polymer combinations that cannot be treated in any other way. So we really find a niche process for solving issues that other industries cannot solve. Thank you so much for this insightful uh, interview and I'd like to thank you too for watching this video. If you'd like to know more about the Polystyrene Loop initiative, please check polystyreneloop.eu um, and follow us on uh, Twitter and LinkedIn to keep up to date about all the bromine stories.